Although many of you use Chrome, did you know that Microsoft Edge, the company's web browser, is far superior to Chrome? Yes, it is. Although Microsoft's browser was formerly known as Internet Explorer, instead of updating the Internet Explorer, Microsoft chose to start over and build the Edge twice. It was first released in 2015 alongside Windows 10, but four years later, it was rebuilt using the same open source Chromium code as Chrome. As a result, this is my preferred browser, and I'll show you why you should switch to an Edge browser right now in this video. Microsoft was able to remove support for older outdated technologies and code as a result of the reconstruction, making Edge a lot lighter than its bulky predecessors. A variety of under-the-hood tweaks were key to this process which helped the browser's page load faster and respond more quickly while preventing the program from overwhelming your computer system resources. As evidenced by speed test, this investment is paying off. When you first open the browser, it will display a selection of news stories, snippets of information and videos tailored to your interest as default first page. When you are looking for something to watch or read, this page is called My Feed. Provides an instant access of relevant contents. Edge selects feed topics based on your browsing history, Cortana interactions and personal information like your current location. But yes, for weather reports only. By clicking the cog icon in the top right corner of this page, Page, you can also customize what you see. If you are rather not see my feed every time you open a new tab, you can change your defaults to avoid seeing it. To make changes, click the three dots that is available on the top right corner and select settings from the menu, then select on startup and new tab page from the drop down menu. Of course, tabs are an important part of navigating the web and we are accustomed to seeing them at top of the screen. The tab headings are listed down the left hand side of the browser in Edge so you can organize them vertically as well. You will have to deal with few more bugs but you will get a heads up on new features and interface changes. When you install the browser, you will notice a vertical tab button in the top left corner or interface. Toggle between vertical tab mode and normal mode by clicking. Edge provides clear privacy choices. The more secure and private the privacy level, the fewer site features and functionality you will get. Tracking prevention in private windows is another option as you don't want cross-site tracking while browsing privately. Edge's in-private mode is similar to other browser incognito or private browsing mode. Also, Edge doesn't save or share your Microsoft account identity with sites you visit when in private modes. Using a VPN or proxy service will completely hide your browsing activity from your ISP and websites. Saving password can also improve security. Though most major browsers now include this feature, Edge can automatically capture login from the web pages and sync them to other devices where you have logged in to Edge. Edge can now save and sync credit and debit card information including CVCs for online purchases across all Edge instances. I prefer manually entering the CVCs but I do like autofilling online checkout pages rather than typing all those digits. The data is encrypted during syncing but a logged in user could use the card information so lock your computer if you don't trust it. They wouldn't see your card details unless you authenticated access. Collections is one of the simplest and most useful feature I have seen for organizing web researchers. It helps me to gather web resources for articles and even presentation for my team. Web clipping is accessed via right side toggle toolbar button that opens the tool panel. A right click on the tab bar adds all open tabs and current pages to a collections. If you need text styling options, add notes, collections are synced to all edge enabled devices.
Immersive Reader is a feature that is extremely useful and that I haven't seen in any other browsers before. Though browsers such as Firefox, Opera and Safari all offer convenient reading views, Ed's Reading View can read the text aloud to you in a surprisingly natural voice. EPS contributions will stop from next month if you do not do this updation. If you are an employee and entitled to the employee, a useful tool for learners or, or those with reading difficulties, this feature highlights and scrolls text to make it easier to read. It can also be used for accessibility purposes. Another advantage of using web capture tool is that it includes built-in screenshots. However, its most impressive trick is that it can capture an entirely web page by automatically scrolling down the page to capture the entire content. Immediately after you taking a screenshot, you can annotate it with a pen or save it to your collections. In case you are using the Windows 11, extensions and add-ons such as themes will no longer appear in the Microsoft Store but will instead appear in a web page gallery. You can still use add-ons from the Chrome Web Store while in a in private window, you have the option of displaying or hiding your add-ons in the top browser toolbar as well as deciding whether they should be active while in the windows. Add-ons should not be used while using in private. I believe a large number of users would be surprised to learn that most extensions have access to all of your browser activities regardless of whether you are actively using the extensions or not. In the manage extension settings page, you have the option to restrict an extension's ability to track your browser activity. Now that you know the best reasons if you want to switch your default browser from Google Chrome to Microsoft Edge, importing your Chrome settings to Edge is probably not a bad idea. To transfer your Google Chrome settings to Microsoft Edge, follow the steps. Step 1. Navigate to Settings menu in Edge. Select the Profiles option. All Edge browser settings including Profile Data, Privacy, Appearances, Startups, Tabs, Default URL, Set Default Browser, Download Folder Path and more can be found in the settings. The image on the screen depicts all the Edge available options. Now go to the Profile Setting page. All the profiles available in your Microsoft Edge browser are listed in the Profile Setting. Choose the profile for which you want to make changes. In my case, I only have one profile which serves as my default. Select Import Browser Data from the drop-down menu. Select the Import Browser Data options on the next screen. Choose Chrome as your browser. You can choose a browser to import settings from using the Import From options. As you can see on the screen right now, it's Google Chrome. You can import all Chrome settings including bookmarks, passwords, personal information, payment information, browsing history, settings, open tabs and extensions as shown in the options on the screen. Select the options you want to import to Edge on the screen. Select Import from drop-down menu. Complete the task, you'll notice an all done sign. That's it. You have done when you click the done button. So to set up Microsoft Edge as your default browsers, just go to your Microsoft Edge settings, then select default browser from the left and on the right side, you will see make default. Click that and that's it. Now the Microsoft Edge is the default browser. So that's it. I hope you will definitely shift to Microsoft Edge after seeing this video. In case you have any other doubts, do contact me through my Telegram channel as well as follow me on my social media handles. Thanks for watching. I'll be meeting you in the next video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Alright, take care. Bye.